Yeah. Well, today's Smile uh, episode is basically going to be um, just an emphasis on Apple Valley High School sports right now. So I'm just going to, you know what I mean, catch up on what's been going on uh, this year in Apple Valley sports, uh, in particular with uh, football, basketball, and the track programs. Um, I uh, know some of the other programs and what have they been doing also, a little bit on those too, but the emphasis is just going to be mainly on the um, the football program, the basketball, and the track. So, yeah, man, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, this year was, I think, a, a, a very exciting, tough but, tough but tough year for all the sports in particular. Uh, I think a lot of hype has been surrounding uh, the Apple Valley programs probably in the last two years, especially going into this next ju uh, junior year for some of these uh, in particular kids that, you know, uh, help catapult this program back to uh, where it's at. So, yeah, starting off with the football program this year, um, I think I think they did a I think they did a really good job of, you know, making a name for themselves and kind of making an identity. I think we haven't had an identity in the football program before. Are we a passing team? Are we a um, uh, are we a running team? Are we a team who uh, has a very high emphasis on playing defense and stopping other teams from scoring? And I think they're starting to get that identity now. Uh, I think they're starting to become a little bit more offensive-minded. Uh, they got a lot of tools, especially on the uh, the wide receivers and um, getting guys in the open field. I think the defense is really starting to come. I mean, the thing about the program is, like I've told you guys, the thing about the program is that they're very young. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a high um, group of juniors that are going to be seniors next year that, you know, saying a lot of these kids came from the um, Apple Valley, the, the, the Valley Athletic Association. Uh, so they've been in the Apple Valley program since they were young kids. And I think that's really started uh, with this junior group that's, that will be seniors next year. Uh, there's a lot of guys on there, uh, Devontae, um, uh, Leopold, uh, uh, JT, um, it's, it's, it's a few other guys on there that are, you know what I'm saying, like really coming into their own and as they become seniors, I think they're very, I mean, they've been in the, they've been in the gym, been in the weight room from times when I've just been at the school, whatever, they've been there working out, getting ready, getting stronger, getting bigger, um, so I think they're, they're really getting this to a next level. I mean, you got to think about it. Like I said, our program is totally young. So when you hear me talk about these programs, you hear me talk a lot about the younger kids. I mean, the sophomores this year, that'll be juniors next year um, in the football program. I mean, you got guys on the line, some big guys on the line. We haven't had big guys in a long time. Um, strong guys, just smart guys. And those, like I said, those wide receivers, um, you know, you, you look at those guys and it's going to be pretty, pretty nice. Um, secondary in the, on defense, I think, shoot, shoot. Kane, Kane's a beast, uh, you know what I'm saying? So and he's he's one of those guys that's a junior that's been in the program for a while, and he'll be a senior next year. So you know he kind of helped lead that him and Devontae lead that defense. Um, you know the young sophomores playing defense, I think is a, is a big thing. TJ uh, really good on the defensive back. Um, we got uh, uh, your boy the monster, you know what I'm saying, Derek. You know what I mean? So you know it's 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 a, a beautiful forecasting of, of what to come. Um, I think this year was kind of tough because of it being it, impacted by such young guys, you know what I'm saying? But they're getting a taste of it and they see what it's like. But And they, and they got there. They're one pass away from making it to, you know what I'm saying, putting some plaques in the, uh, on the wall. Um, so, yeah, I got a, actually I got a video. I did a little end of the year video for them um, and a couple other videos. You can see those on my, uh, my YouTube page or in my description. I'm going to go ahead and put the... Uh, um, the link to that video for you, you know what I'm saying, if you want to check that out, you know what I mean, um, highlight, you know, highlight King, you know what I'm saying, so I highlighted the season for those guys, um, felt it was really uh, a lot of footage that they gave me because I was on the field filming and stuff, you know how I do, I'm going to be up in there, especially for the kids, I do it for the kids, so that's what I do. Um, yeah, now going into the winter, um, the basketball season, I think the basketball season was a very much improved season than last year. I think we were 500. I think we were 14 and 14, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is a huge jump because we only had, I think, like four wins last year. So that's 10 more wins we added on. I think there was some wins, some losses that we had where we actually could have won those games, should have won those games. Um, so, and, and once again, similar to the football program, your, your basketball program is leading with 
uh, young players. You got guys on there that are, you know, seniors, uh, two in particular, uh, Nadi and um, Elijah, or excuse me, Isaiah. And so they're running the team with only two guys that have been, you know, in that program for that, that long, which is good. Um, but you, you, your, your main go-to scores is sophomores. You know what I'm saying? Once again, sophomores. And they, they know how to play, but they don't know how to uh, mentally be ready for the level of uh, championship. You know what I'm saying? They've tasted it for a long time, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, once again, you have a program that has kids that have been in the Apple Valley Valley Athletic Association since they were young and basically been playing together for a long time. I think I try to tell people this all the time. Um, I think one of the biggest factors in some programs that are successful is the um, the the continuity of the togetherness, the way the kids camaraderie. You can't teach you can, you can't bring people in. You know what I'm saying? Just call it off the blue and just have camaraderie. Camaraderie. You know what I'm saying? It 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 grows over time and over being together for years. And you got like I said, you got pro this program. Um, all these programs, we have kids that have been playing together since young young ages. Um, through the Valley Athletic Association. Um, so the basketball program, 14-14. Um, I mean, we had some breakout games by some players, man, scoring huge points. I mean, uh, Kamari, I think he hit, what, what 28, 20, 28. Uh, Trey hit about 29. I think Nadi hit 29, maybe 30. Well, I mean, the, these guys can play. These guys can score. Um and these young guys coming back next year, we have some juniors on the team who um, were they were they were integral in playing minutes that were necessary. Um, but I think next year they, as seniors, I think they're ready to step it up to be a little bit more aggressive um, with the way they score. I think they go, they're they're ready to help uh, become defensive minded first and overall. I think a lot of them take pride in that defensive mindedness, and I think to have seniors coming back because the juniors now coming back seniors plan I think it'll be huge for those guys to be defensive catalysts and um, you know teach these younger guys how to be strong and 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 play aggressive on the defense but while at the same time while adding a little bit of offensive flair too uh, the sophomores that are gonna be juniors next year that's that's <laughs> that's my group man that's my guys man so um, those guys I mean Kamari's coming back man he's doing uh, from what I've seen he's out here you know what I'm saying? Murdering people on the circuits in the uh, AAU program. Trey out here putting up numbers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so they're getting that work in. Those guys are scorers. You know what I mean? So you, you got two guys that can score the ball for you on deck, right? Uh, you got Ryan, who's just a monster. Uh, you got TJ, just does everything. One of, one, of the, one of the strongest defensive players we have on the team. Um, and I think the uh, ninth graders that will be 10th graders, you got a lot of uh, 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 ball players, right? You know what I'm saying? This is one thing about being shooters, one thing about being, um, uh, you know, um, defensive person, uh, being tall, being whatever it is, right? But it's one thing about being a ball player. And I think a lot of the sophomores that will be juniors next year, those guys are some ball players. So uh, once they get their heads on straight, and once they understand how to play within the program, um, I think they'll be huge you know and then you know saying how it is we got we got kids coming up in that program down the line that have been coming to camps um that have been you know working out at the at the uh, high school gym and stuff like that so you know the outlook is very very beautiful for apple valley basketball program and i can see that for real for real um i think next year is going to be huge i have a, a huge expectation you've heard me talking about this all the time um, especially with the emphasis on the basketball program. I mean, no bias. I love basketball. I love basketball. But it just is, right? So, as those guys work to get better, um, you know, the future is bright for them. I think. I think next year, my outlook on them for next year is, um, I would say, at least 20 wins, um, a conference title, and then possibly a trip to the state. I, no, 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 no. I'm back talking, ain't I? No, nah, I don't back talk. Going to state. Going to stay, and I can see them doing that. I think the uh, players that we have, as long as their mentality um, comes full fold and to understand what it takes to win at the championship level, um, playing basketball and being a ball player is cool. It's all gravy, you know what I'm saying? It's lovely, man. It's, it's all bunches and roses and shit. 
but it's like guns and butter, you know what I'm saying? Like you want the butter, right? You want to be the shiny star and all that kind of stuff? Cool, you can have that, that's the butter. But the guns, it's, you know what I'm saying? That's the hard, you know what I'm saying? That's the metal, that's the, that's the grit. You got to have that to take yourself to a championship level, you know what I'm saying? Even at the high school level, because once you go high school level, you get to that level, the cream of the crop, you move on to the next level, the college level, right? So basketball program, man, it's going to be nice. Um, next year, this year was a very tough year. Uh, coach and staff was uh, was pretty uh, uh, amazing handling, you know, the difference of styles and skill play that they had within the 12, 13, 13 man roster that they had to work with. Um, DC uh, running the program very well. Uh, also, um, uh, to, 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 to all the coaches, you know what I'm saying? This is for the football program. Uh, Pete, you know, um, to the basketball program and to the track program, man. I, 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 sorry I'm talking about the kids only, but this, hey, to the coaches, man. Much love, man. Y'all dealing with these young people, man. So, um, I got a little video for basketball program that I did in the season video I did for them. Look for that. Um, link in my bio, too. It's on my YouTube page. You can just scroll through. I got mad videos. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I'm going to get back to posting with y'all. So, you know, like I said, you know what I mean? It's, 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 uh, it's all love. I got information for you, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to catch you up with my boys, right? So, like I said, the basketball program, man. That's that's, that's my home right there. So, And uh, as you probably know, I'm on the coaching staff. So, you know what I mean? These are my kids, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to rock this, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to show them how to do this. Um, and and the program's coming. Oh, camp is coming up. Camp is coming up. We got basketball camp coming up right here. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you get your kids signed up. Come on through the Apple Valley basketball program and get your kids signed up for camp. It's going to be a lot of stuff going on up in there. It's going to be people up in there. You might want to bring your kids there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of good teaching going on, going, going, going on up in there. So come on through, man. Roll your kids, man. Let's get this cracking. You know what I'm saying? Apple Valley basketball, right? Um, now on to the track. Track season. Track season um, was a very, very difficult one. It was a very difficult one. Um, I think um, it kind of was like a roller coaster. I think they had some highs, they had a couple of lows, and then they had some highs again. And then when they hit a low, it was kind of like, eh, you know, kind of died out. You know, and I, and not to say it like it's a bad thing, but I think kids got to understand that that dying out can't happen, especially towards the end of the season. That's when you have to get better. Um, what I noticed in particular was just a lot of drop off in spirit. Um, and at that time, when you're coming into sections and conferences and trying to go to state, your spirit cannot be low. That's one of the times where I think it needs to be at the highest, especially in track, because track is one of the brutal sports where it's just like mano y mano, mano y mano y mano y mano y mano, you know what I'm saying? But still, it's one versus you know, send everybody else. So when you start understanding that, your mindset starts to realize that when you set a, a, a number, set a speed, you have to understand you set that speed. You have to come in better the next time. You got to beat that speed the next time. It always that's how track is. You set a number. Bam. Now, you know, your number beat that number. And once you start realizing that, you can go out there and be competitive, not only against everybody else you're running, but being competitive against yourself. And that's one of the biggest things in track you got to understand is to be competitive against yourself. Because like I said, if you set a number, your number 20, if you're running a, a, a 200 at 22, 23, you got to come in that mud like, nah, I'm going to run it at 21, 22. And now when you set at 21, 22, you got to come back and be like, nah, nah I'm going to run a 20, right? So... It, it, it's getting there, you know what I'm saying? The kids are doing their thing, it's getting there. Um, in particular, man, we had a guy who set uh, a couple of state records, man. Uh, 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 Dwayne Smith, Jr., you know what I'm saying? What's going on? These guys calling their kids juniors, man. It's like arrogant as hell. Just calling their kids juniors. Oh, I did that. <laughs> you got to. Dwayne Smith, Jr., man. He out here busting people up, man. He got a 46 in the 400. He got a 20 in the 200, I think it was. Man, I got to check my facts. I'll put, matter of fact, I'll put my facts up right here, right now. Y'all can see what he did. You know what I'm saying? He broke two straight records this year. I think he broke one state record once and then broke his own state record again. <laughs> so um, the dude is fast, man. The dude is fast. Apple Valley, man, is the fastest man in the state. You know what I'm saying? I think he's like ranked like 20-something, some 25, 30-something like that in the nation. 
Um, so, dude is doing phenomenal. Uh, the team itself, I think there's a lot of kids on there that are young, man. We got sophomores on there. We got juniors on there. Um, I think we got a couple of seniors on there that 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 compete, that compete. You know what I'm saying? That are always in the middle of the pack. That they're doing their thing. Um, once again, the program is very young. I think a lot of the guys that are bringing big numbers for the team are the younger kids. Uh, the girls are doing their thing too. Uh, Zaria, one of my homies, you know what I'm saying? She, she, she always, she's really competitive, really passionate. So she really gets on herself when she's not, you know, performing well and always wants to come out next time. It can be competitive. So uh, the girls are doing pretty good. Same thing, roller coaster with them. Kind of felt like they just kind of died out too, man. You know, you gotta get just, you gotta always learn how to be self spirited. You gotta be, you gotta check within yourself. You gotta find something within yourself to pull it out. Um, and I think these kids, once they learn to do that, they'll be better better at this at uh at running track um you know but this i mean it's been a nice season man i mean the, the one thing i hated the most about the the track season for real i hate i hate to say this but the weather man it was like three meets in a row the first three meets in a row it was rainy <laughs> all three meets was rainy the first one was like rainy and cold or something like that and then uh the second one was rainy the third one was rainy then fourth meet finally it was a nice day out uh, the fifth meet, I think, was pretty nice out. I wasn't able to make it to a couple of them, but and then sectionals, I heard, were, uh, conferences, conference final, conference and conference finals went pretty good. Uh, but as a team, we got to be more competitive, man. We got to be more competitive. You guys got to be more individualistic minded and learn um, how you can bring more points to the team so that we can be competitive as a team, also, which means you got to win. So. Once you learn that, man, and get that mentality down, we'd be great. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the track season, man, I got a, um, another highlight video that I'll do for them, and then I'll end up posting that on uh, my YouTube page. Uh, but, yeah, man, good luck, good luck to them, Robley, uh, Coach Robley, you know what I'm saying, running those, running those demons over there. And uh, the Apple Valley Eagles, man, you know what I'm saying? Much love, south of the river, man. This is what we're doing out here, man. Uh, check us out. I'm going to try to keep filling y'all in, you know what I'm saying, posting as much as I can. But get out, check some games out, uh, football, basketball, um, and the track, man. We got some kids out here that deserve that attention. And we're going to keep bringing it to you, man. We're going to keep teaching these kids, man. And uh, much love, man. Fight like an eagle, man. Eagle vision, eagle mentality. Apple Valley. Let's roll. Yeah. Smile at one